Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Uh, it is Friday, October 30th, and Hasbro is going live with their Hasbro Pulse Fan First Friday for Power Rangers. They've promised new toy reveals, uh, new Power Rangers Dino Fury cast reveals, uh, and more, which is very, very exciting. Um, so I'm just kind of getting things set up here, and uh, I can't live stream this, unfortunately. Um, but I did want to at least record what I had. Um, and then, uh, you know, we'll, uh, see how this actually all plays out. Uh, so we're just about a minute away. As far as actual predictions before we get started, um, I think it's time that we're going to see pre-orders, hopefully, for some of the packs, like the, uh, the two packs that they showed, like the Astronomer and Andros pack, maybe the A-Squad, B-Squad, uh, SPD pack, um... I would like to see pre-orders for those because I really want those sets. Uh, and what else? Is Pumpkin Rapper's not up for pre-order, right? So maybe like the, the villains, you know, might go up for pre-order. Um, as far as new stuff, I think they... So so they, they tweeted out that there was going to be Dino Fury cast news. So I think we're going to get the Green and, and Black Rangers, finally. Even though like we already know who they are. But officially speaking, they're going to be confirmed. Um... And then somebody asked, is there going to be Dino Fury toy news in the replies? And the Twitter account said yes. So maybe our first look at Dino Fury toys, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, whatever it is. I Look, I don't have much expectations. All I'm really expecting is is the Dino Fury, you know, cast stuff and pre-orders up for something. I, I'm not even expecting a brand new toy reveal, even though, like, we might get one, but it could have been something that's been leaked. I'm not even expecting a new wave of toys. I keep my expectations low for the Fan First Fridays. The only time that we actually got some decent stuff was at the Hasbro PulseCon, uh, but this is just a regular Fan First Friday, and uh, those have been disappointing before. So, we'll see. Um, either way, it should be, should be pretty good. Uh, we're just waiting for this premiere to begin. Shortly, um, I can't make this full screen right now either. Um, all right, let's see what I can do. Let me swap screens here. All right, now you're able to see the full action. Um, so, uh, oh, here we go. YouTube premiere is happening. Okay, now I can make it full screen, but I'll, I'll wait a second until it actually starts. We got a bunch of people in the chat. Oh yeah, this is cool, man. Ranger Nation representing in here. I would have done a full-on live stream thing, but I just don't have time to set all that set all that up because um, I work from home now and everything. So I just had to step away for a bit and, and uh, record this real quick for a little break. Um, all right, 30 seconds. So we know that this is not, even though this is a live stream, it's not technically live. Um, you know, because that's how YouTube premieres function, but that's fine, right? I don't expect it to be live. All right. Let's see how this goes. Let's make this full screen and enjoy the content. Hopefully the audio is okay, because I have to have the audio be picked up from my mic out of my MacBook speakers. Ooh, all right. Halloween themes. Happy Friday to everybody watching at home, and welcome to the Power Rangers Fan First Friday stream. On this day, the day before Halloween, good things are about to happen. Uh, my name is Emily. I work over on the marketing team for okay. Power Rangers products. Hi, Emily. And with me today hey. is... Hey, everyone. I'm Paul. I'm on the franchise marketing team for Power Hi, Rangers. Hi, Paul. And we're so excited for this Fan First Friday. But hey, Paul voted. Yay, good job. That, you know, Go I'm vote. Really excited about Halloween this weekend? Tomorrow, actually. T yeah. Oh, it's... It, I keep Don't you just love this, like, Zoom call away, thing with the technical somehow, glitches? Like, no, no, it's like the end it's just, of October. It's, it's going to be November this weekend, and that's really hard for me to figure out. Um, but I am super excited. I ordered matching costumes for my dog and I to wear, which, I mean, no judgment, it's going to be great. What are you all so doing for Halloween? I'm stay in and I'm watch not movies while doing anything. we play dress-up. How about you, Paul? 
Um, you know, I'm gonna grab that stand up Power Ranger suit I have hanging in my closet, and maybe put it on, lay on the couch, watch some spooky movies, um, and eat a lot of candy. So it's gonna be uh, pretty wild. <laughs> so, um, Sounds amazing. Home, yeah, it's about to get wild. What are your fun but socially distant Halloween plans for you? Uh, let us know down below. Um, Not really so doing anything. Now that we've gotten our Halloween plans out of the way, let's get into what you guys are all here for. That's right. Um, Emily, I know that you're going to be talking about some awesome Lightning Collection pre-orders <coughs> and reveals. Ooh. And then um, I'm going to give you guys some franchise updates, some really exciting news coming um, out about Power Rangers um, over the past couple weeks. And then we have some special guests. Oh, are they going to talk about? Come in and talk about the brand new Dino Fury toy line. And oh, then, Dino Fury. Finally, okay. Finally, I was gonna say they're gonna talk about the movie. We're gonna reveal to you guys who the new uh, black and the green Dino Fury Rangers are. So that being said, that's right. Uh, okay. Emily, take All it right, away. Cool. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for the cast reveals later. They're gonna be so phenomenal, or maybe more, more phenomenal. phenomenal. Uh, Come on, uh, fans. Uh, you know what the thing. Um. Is. So, speaking of amazing Power Rangers puns and references, let's set the tone with the pumpkin wrapper countdown up. Paul and Emily's top five oh. favorite Power Rangers Halloween episode. Take it away, pumpkin putties. How are we going to get Lightning Collection pumpkin putties? <laughs> Although technically, didn't they say the pumpkin heads can be attached to figures? <laughs> they're just so, so, so good. Uh, so, okay. okay, top five episodes. Here we go. Take it away, Paul. So at number five, we have one of my faves. From Beast Morphers, just aired last Halloween, Hypnotic Halloween. In this episode, something really crazy happens, and the Rangers get dressed up for Halloween, but uh oh, what happens? They become their costume. So you're gonna see Frankenstein, you're gonna see a detective, <laughs> but you're gonna see my favorite, Zoe, when she becomes Ingrid, this Viking warrior, and she attacks the vending machine because, you know, we've all had that moment where that bag of chips or that cookie gets caught in the vending machine and just makes you go crazy. So, Emily, what's your number four? Ingrid Ironag is <coughs> angry. I feel that. Um, number four, Super Ninja Steel Monster Mix-Up. Um, I love this episode because I think it's a fun twist on the swapping theme. So, rangers and monsters end up... I'm just... I don't know. Most of the holiday special the type episodes, I'm just not a big like fan a of. Ridiculously... Um, uh, That's just me personally. System. We have our uh, appearance of the Halloween Intergalactic Court, which is amazing and presided over by three possessed jack o' lanterns, which totally makes sense. 100%. Yeah. And speaking of Intergalactic Court, my number three choice is from Dino Supercharged Trick or Trial. This is the first time we get a glimpse into the Halloween Intergalactic Court. Notice we've that all of these are from warrior. recent seasons because they just have to do like that. Halloween Christmas uh, it's episodes. It's wild, Although thing for, thankfully it's Beast Morphers changed Rangers. that trend a little bit. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but you know, since we've been you know working from home, I've had some afternoons to sit down and watch some like afternoon court shows, and they've got nothing on this Halloween intergalactic court. Judge Judy wishes. <laughs> so Emily, number two. Yep, Judge Judy would be so much better with monsters. Um, number two, the Power Rangers. Samurai number one's going to be Ranger like Halloween an MMPR special. thing, isn't it? Um, I think that this is a phenomenal episode, Halloween special, super technically. Um, but it takes was place. Was Pumpkin Rapper in a Halloween episode or just a random episode? I don't even remember. Monsters beaten by the Power Rangers are is all leading up to Pumpkin together, Rapper, and they're telling stories of their battles with the Power Rangers and all trying to one up each other. Like my battle was better than yours. Uh, but my like number one favorite detail is that they are carving jack o' lanterns, but with ranger faces on them because that is the thing that is scariest to them. That is a nice which touch. I think is fabulous. Those little details which are Which brings fun. us to our number one episode for this countdown. Yes, number one, guys. We're gonna Life's take a masquerade. It was an NPR, of course. But okay. Life's a masquerade. This I remember is this one. one of the, the first Power Rangers Halloween episode. It started it all. We've got amazing costumes we've got that 90s cheesiness we got the power rangers battling frankenstein but most importantly my favorite you can see alpha five down to the left mr steal your girl he's coming for the ladies so watch out <laughs> and just a reminder 
all of the Power Ranger episodes are available on Netflix. Netflix. So if you're looking for something to do, maybe you want to give yourself. Yeah, a I've actually been rewatching Power Rangers watch, on Netflix, like watching Time Force with my wife. Try to watch her first time watching it, <laughs> and she's been enjoying it. Shouldn't take too much time, right? Uh, <laughs> so this has been your top five Halloween Power Ranger episode countdown. Dance us out, pumpkin putties. <laughs> That. <laughs> um so yeah so like i said we're excited about watching those you know we had a lot of fun watching those making that list so ranger nation um what are your favorite halloween episodes let us know in the comments um so that being said now we all got that out of the way emily let's uh, talk about lightning collection okay so a lot of you watching probably tuned into our amazing pulse content okay, the where versus we collections so many amazing new toys for there we go the toy so these are those two One packs of the things that you would have seen there we did a couple of deco sheet reveals for two new line additions to the lightning collection should be our versus line and our monsters line and the monster so, okay cool fabulous news here today pre-orders figure reveals are happening pre-orders are happening yay so 1 p.m eastern today you can get your pre-orders in for those 11 amazing PM Eastern, right? that, and monsters wait, did you say, that you saw. Or you said 1 p.m.? Well, not 11 p.m. What am I saying? I will what be doing bigger reveals. It's going to be amazing. 1 Let's get started. PM? I don't know what she said. So, uh, and just to like recap, pre-orders are going to be available starting at 1 p.m. 1 PM. Okay. Eastern. Check social for links after the stream is over. 1 p.m. Eastern. Got Good it. things are happening. All right. Let's kick it off with our first versus collection. SPD. Ooh. That's right. It's the SPD. Look at that. Squad versus A Squad Blue Ranger. That's fire. For a quick recap on the SPD season. That's fire. You have the A Squad Rangers who are like amazing Power Rangers and then something happens mysterious and they disappear. So the B Squad, like literally the like second string Power Rangers, step up to become the good guys and it turns out the A Squad legitimately just decided to become bad guys. Like, who does that as a Power Ranger? Um, so, obviously, they have an epic face-off. Won't ruin it for you. Plot only came out 15 years ago. Um, <laughs> but totally worth watching. And so, from our SPD B-Squad versus A-Squad battle pack, we have the oh. A-Squad Blue Ranger. Check God, those out look this good. dude. Those look he so is good. amazing. Look at that armor. I that need to catch up on my Lightning Collection videos and guy. just... I love his shoulder pads. Oh, They're probably not called shoulder pads on action figures, but I'm just gonna roll with it. He comes with his amazing blaster weapon, loving his little boots, such great detail. Um, as always with these figures, they're gonna come with those premium 20 points of articulation um, that our premium figures are known for. Then additionally, we have the B-Squad Blue Ranger. Check him out in all of his amazing SPD glory. That's right. Wearing that big number two, not that he has a complex about it or anything, not like he wanted to be the Red Ranger. Check out those sweet boots. Loving the detail on this guy. The helmet deco is absolutely amazing. Does this helmet look slightly squished a little bit? Ranger, Just like the, didn't the red one look like that too? His phenomenal little civilian head sculpt. Yours won't have the oh, control. I was about to it. say, that's what is the. the, the no, that's right, okay. That makes sense. So, that threw me off for a second. That's our amazing Looks good, SPD though. B Squad versus A Squad Blue Ranger Battle Pack. Who is. Oh, no civilian next. head for, uh, for A that Squad? That would be In Space. That's fine, though. <gasps> Ooh, that's okay. Right, in Space Red okay. Ranger Andros versus Astronema. You know the story. Siblings separated tragically. One raised good, one raised evil. The now they come together as adults because fine. one wants to It's fine. It's not great, the world, but it's fine. And one wants to save it. But Who's the, the, gonna win? the figure looks no awesome. No spoilers on this one. Only came out 22 years ago. You can totally watch it to find out. So we have the In Space Red Ranger Andros. Check nice. out that sweet detail. It's got the spiral comes saber. His Astro Blaster and other weaponry. Look and fly with his in in space little square stripies going on. I think he looks fabulous. A great addition to your Red Ranger leader collection. Andros also comes with his civilian head sculpt, featuring some really sweet okay. late nineties, early two thousand chunky highlights. That, that looks but pretty then, good. Then, no offense to Andros, because his figure is really cool. The no, we want the Astronema. I think we all know. Hundred percent. Astronema. <sighs> Check. Her out. 
This is an amazing sculpt. Dude, that looks amazing. I I'm actually kind of, of tearing up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Lightning collection so far. That, I've, like, I've wanted an astronomer figure for all, so long. And, you know, the wow, that's, that's actually really cool. Um, so her face actually looks pretty good from here. Maybe it was just that image. Fabulous boots on this front. Yeah, this looks amazing. Looking great. Oh my gosh, that looks so, so good. So now that, so those are our two amazing versus packs. So both of those, again, I know, she said it before, pre-order starting at 1 p.m. Eastern, check social for links after the stream. Okay. And so we didn't just reveal deco sheets for the versus pack at PulseCon, right? We also revealed deco sheets yeah, we had for our amazing new eight inch monster King's collection. And pumpkin like, wrapper. It's amazing, it's so cool. So, I think that we need a little bit of an intro to show who our new monsters are. So, without further ado, let's meet King Sphinx. Okay, there we go. King Sphinx. Don't copyright flag me, please, you two. I'm going to talk over this clip so that there's no copyright flags. Look at this clip. Oh, it's MMPR and blah, blah, blah. Okay, to show us King Sphinx. Copyright, copyright. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. I never really, like, King Sphinx, I remember him from MMPR, but, like, he never was, I was never like, whoa, King Sphinx is cool. So I don't know. Further ado, let me introduce you to my That's just me personally. King Sphinx. But that figure looks Check good. Check out this guy. He is amazing. He is gigantic. Or as my yeah, friend Sam that says, that size looks pretty thick. good, too. All of that amazing muscle tone. These wings are amazing. You can move them around. They are posable so that you can pretend like they are blowing your Power Rangers figures away. He is so big, I like can't even get my hand behind him to show better depth on the camera. This dude is amazing. Also coming with that premium 20 points of articulation, he has very amazing ankle joints, which I am really into. I think it makes him look like a fancy ballerina. He also looks like he came right from the salon. His nails are on point. Check yeah. out this amazing Sphinx Scepter with that power effect. Like, this guy looks phenomenal big props to our design team like blown away absolutely blown away so thank you king sphinx up next our second monster so seasonally appropriate come on guys tomorrow's halloween All right, um, here we go so without further ado let me introduce you pumpkin to my rapper. friend pumpkin rapper Treat. Your incomplete to the power Rangers okay. you can be. Edit or er, uh copyright copyright. Don't flag me, don't flag me. <laughs> Pumpkin rapper. Very timely for Halloween, of course, so perfect. So for Although those I don't know when he's actually gonna release to miss this amazing MMPR episode. One of Pumpkin Rapper's traits is that he loves to rap all of his witty one-liners. So before we show you the rapper figure himself, it's time for some rhymes that are always top shelf. Oh yeah, I went there. Huh. Without further ado, Pumpkin Rappers, top five greatest hits. Number five. Get bored with them heads on. We're gonna fight to say goodnight, yeah. Okay. Number four. You got my mind, but you're still mine. All right, guys, I'm a rush. Number three. Welcome to my pumpkin patch. Perhaps you'd like to play some catch out. <laughs> Number two. Hey, don't play, he's getting away. <laughs> number I love, one. Uh, him in Hyperforce, too. Okay. This has been there a presentation of Pumpkin Rappers Top 5 Greatest Hits. And now for our amazing Ooh, Pumpkin Rapper look figure at that reveal. Figure. This guy is so cool. Check him out. So he comes with this amazing power effect to show off his vine whip. That's right. He's dope. He I love the scale on these guys because you can tell that they look more like a little bit bigger and menacing. Get some great extra depth. Although I wonder he's how they're going to be in scale with like Rita uh, and Zed and, so you know. He really towers over your ranger figures. Again, because they can't go without these guys shouldn't these be towering shoes. over Rita and Zed, Obviously, so that like I don't just know. Rolled out of that pumpkin patch. So one of the things that I mentioned is that he comes with these amazing extra pumpkin effects. So they can both live in this cool blast effect. You can you can swap the heads, right? Or is she going to put it on a putty? There are actually joints on the inside of them that let you create your very own pumpkin rangers, just like from the show. 
The pink mark on this MMPR Ranger is actually a custom edition by me. She got into a fight with a ballpoint pen. You would like your MMPR Pink Rangers to have the same mark. You will have to have your own get into a fight with a ballpoint pen. But not only can your Rangers become pumpkins, but you can now army build pumpkin putties. There you go, pumpkin That's putties. That's right. Have your pumpkin putties attacking your pumpkin rangers. Like, how cool Does it is just, this? I assume he just comes um, with one so pumpkin, pumpkin, though. comes with three of these awesome baby pumpkins. Three pumpkins? Oh, so okay, wow. That's a lot more than I thought. The pumpkinified versions of themselves. These guys are sold separately. These figures do not come with pumpkin wrapper. Just baby <laughs> pumpkins. Like, how cool is this? Nice. That's actually really cool. So, yeah, I can All have an army of putties. Because I have, I have three, I think. So... We are personally super excited about these new collections, but I want to hear from you. What duos and monsters would you be most excited? Like fantasy draft picks. Oh, who would you want to see next? Pudgy who are Pig. your dream additions to the line? Because you know they're going to keep doing with MMPR, with so I guess friends. a Pudgy Pig's iconic. So remember, but... all of these amazing Lightning Collection items are going to be available starting at 1 p.m. Eastern. For He's more of like a general, but Ecliptor. I love uh, Ecliptor. All of the amazing retailers who will be having them Mesagog. for us on sale. Absolutely amazing, Paul. What do you think? Of I have to think about more monster of the days. Emily, I'm exhausted. I needed to sit down. I was not prepared to see all those in real life. I'm excited. I can't believe we're living in a world where we're not getting just a reader of Hulsa lightning collection figure, but also an astronomer lightning collection figure in the That's same right. year. That astronomer looks amazing. I'm hoping at some point. We'll get a s different wigs for Astronomer's action figure. Right. Or yes. Maybe thank you, just Paul. A whole lightning collection, Astronomer wig. Yeah. Collection. Of I'm I'm down. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I would buy it. Long. I loved it. Um, I would hundred percent be of... here for. Oh. <laughs> Yo, yeah, Nick, sorry. Go ahead. No, let's talk about it. Oh no! I mean, I am here for her wig collection. I really think that that has potential yeah. as like yes. a fun add-on package. Maybe we could do little wig stands for her. Yeah. No, Emily, I'm talking about wigs for humans. We, me, I want to. Oh. I wanna go, oh, oh my God, even better. Meeting, I was talking about lightning collection. A wig every single meeting. I'm, that's, that's what I'm talking fun. about. A wig a day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. Here for it. I want to do one of the ones that has like the the sparkly stars hanging out in it with the curls, like. That's a good one. Super tight. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. So I know we just saw Pumpkin Rapper, and speaking of Pumpkin Rapper, <laughs> he's bringing his rat flow and his fighting skills to Power Rangers Legacy Wars, where he's going to be available now, right now, at this moment, to add to your fighting ro roster. So Enway That's is cool. celebrating I, Halloween. Look, and I applaud Enway for doing Legacy Wars, weekend, and the amount of the roster in that game is, is insane. Online. Go on Legacy Wars right now. But it's absolutely and insane how much money you have to spend to get every character. To I would totally buy every so character reminder, if they weren't, like, a ridiculous it's amount of money to, like, awesome get all the gems or shards or whatever you need to get so on that. Fun. That turned me off from um, it. Um, it really upset me about that because I, I would love to buy all the characters and support the game. But it's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. You would have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars, no lie, to collect every character over the course of that as they were being released, which is absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. Um, you know, if they were like five bucks each or whatever, it would still be a lot, but like, I would probably do it. But I remember one character, I ended up spending like 20 something dollars, or maybe close to 30, just to get enough shards or whatever. I forget what, what it was. And then after that point, I said, you know what, like this character I, I, I wanted, but then after that, I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, because that's absolutely insane. That's a full video game right there, you know, like, like one of the budget video games for that price. But, you know, so so I applaud Enway for, the, like, this is really cool to have Pumpkin Rapper as a character in a video game. I, I truly do applaud their efforts and the amount of detail and attention they put into it. I just don't like their monetization uh, model. Yeah, so like I said, make sure you download Legacy Wars if you haven't already and check it out. It's so, it's so fun. You can play against... Uh, your friends. It's worth it's playing great. the game for free and, you know, um, maybe so getting a character or two, but comic book news. beyond that. Um, as you know, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and GoGo -Go Power Rangers series ended <laughs> recently, but Boom Studios is introducing oh, two comic new news Power Rangers okay. comic book series next month. Mighty Morphin number one and Power Rangers number one by writer Ryan Parrott and artist Marco Renna 
and Fran- Francesco uh, Mortarino. Uh, in these last, in these first issues, the Omega Rangers return to Earth in hopes of their old team helping them fend off the looming threat of the recently introduced Imperial. I've been loving the Omega Rangers. I think they're such an awesome original team. It's great to see. Wait, are they leading into Omega Ranger Ranger Lightning Collection? And Zach still back in action. Um, And what's awesome, what Boom's done is check out how the uh, main covers for issue number one connect to form one epic image. So Boom's also going to release legacy covers that will continue the original series numbering across the two titles. (laughs) Along with variants. Because I'm here stars. for Omega Ranger. So, Lightning that Lights. being said, Mighty Morphin number one is on sale on November 4th, and Power Rangers number one is on sale November 11th in comic book stores <laughs> everywhere. So, make sure you check it out. It's going to be awesome. Okay. And the biggest news coming out of last week is that E1 okay, and Hasbro know. announced that Jonathan Entwistle is okay. going to be the creative steward of new Power Rangers film and television adaptations. So Jonathan created the Netflix series, The End of the Effing World, and I'm not okay with this. And we're so excited to have him part of the Ranger team and bringing his amazing vision to all of these non-kid projects. To these and non-kid just projects. just a couple of days ago, E1 and Hasbro closed a deal to bring on Brian Edward Hill to write the Power Rangers feature film adaptation, which Jonathan is going to direct. E1 is going to develop and produce the project. So Brian is a prolific African-American creator working in film, television, and comics. He recently adapted so Black... So they're really Bird emphasizing Brothers, these are non-kid Robo projects. Of Magic. And then he's also a co-producer on the uh, new DC series, Titans. And over the last year, he's written for some of the biggest comics um, for Marvel, DC... I don't think we're going to get any new info here. I think so they're just so excited telling the mass audience that may uh, not have heard the news. projects. This is going to be so great. Like, I I did not know about this until right now, and I am kind of blown away by it. You're in marketing yeah, and you didn't know about awesome. this? It's, it's so exciting. Really I can't weird. wait. Um, so now we've got all the news out of the way. You know, we're coming off that three-part epic dino crossover episode in Beast Morphers. Um, it was awesome to watch. I'm exhausted just thinking about it. It was great to see all of those former dino teams come back. So... Now that that's out of the way, we're back to regular episodes of Beast Morphers, um, and including tomorrow's all-new episode of Beast Morphers um, that's going to be on Nickelodeon at 8 a.m. Eastern and Pacific. So uh, why don't we show you guys a sneak peek of tomorrow's episode? Oh, more. Beast Morphers. Oh, no. Emily, are they, do you think they're going to be able to morph? I, you know, it, I believe in them i think that they will figure out what's going on i think they'll figure out how to beat the robocon and i know that like i really shouldn't think that villains look super cool but oh my god robo roxy that outfit's amazing release a figure yeah yeah blaze and roxy are lightning collection those uh, those costumes are sick you know i'm gonna say but also lightning collection these morphers yellow and silver all the time when i have like what come on why not you know are you not doing that turn it back on maybe that'll fix it yeah (laughs) <laughs> wait wait the 10 seconds that's all they really need right <laughs> yes yes exactly exactly you know um anyway so that episode looks amazing again it's an all-new episode of power rangers beast morphers i'm glad that they're touching on Saturday all the elements of power rangers right now between the comics so and the sure movie and the current show out. and the toys that so is nice now that we've truly got all of the franchise updates out of the way dino fury i think it's time to talk about dino fury Ooh, okay Oh my gosh, I would love to talk about Dino Fury, but I think it might be time for a theme change. Whoa! Uh, amazing! Sick. Yes! Technology is amazing. <laughs> um, what would we do without so technology, guys, man? I know, right? I know. Um, so <laughs> as you know, Dino Fury, Power Rangers Dino Fury, is the next iteration of Power Rangers. Okay. It's coming in 2021 to Nickelodeon in the U.S. Um, so that being said... Here's a uh, look at the trailer. This is the same trailer as before. Force. So With far, the power it is. Of the morphing grid to planet Earth. Now, the forces of evil have come to claim that power, and a group of yeah, heroes the same must trailer. rise up to meet this challenge. It's morphing time. Harnessing the energy of the morphing grid. With the prehistoric power. It is a cool, of cool trailer, here. though. They will unlock incredible new morphers. I know a lot of people hate the MMPR theme being used a lot. It just gets you hyped. Not gonna lie. 
they still left in the uh, the subtitle thing at the bottom. In the tradition of dinosaur teams of the past comes a brand new entry. Power Rangers Dino Fury. Coming soon. Okay. Oh my gosh. Show we us are those toys. So excited. Dinos are back. Yeah. Speaking of Dino Rangers, which past Dino Ranger is your favorite? New friends watching at home, leave us a comment in the chat so that we can see who some of your favorites are. Um, speaking oh. of Dino Rangers of the past, Paul, I know that you worked on brand for a couple of years. What has been like your absolute favorite memory of working on the Power Rangers show? Oh, Emily, wow. That's a that's a hard question to answer. You know, I've been... I'm, Dino Charge was actually the first season that I ever worked on, um, you know. So I'm guessing, so we have no new Lightning Collection reveal, which is and, fine. You know, working on that season. Unless they're going to so do a Dino good, Fury you know, Lightning Collection reveal, maybe. Especially up on Mighty Morphin, you know, Dinos have a special place in my heart. But, um, but I I'm think thinking not. for me, one of my favorite memories was definitely that first uh, Power Morphicon that I went to and saw all of the fans and all of you guys, you know, watching right now. Um, you know, in the flesh, and just seeing how passionate you guys all are. Team seeing, was you know, fun. when that, the Dino Charge cast was revealed there, that excitement in the room, and it was just incredible to witness. I've never experienced anything like it. Um, and then I think most recently, my so that was favorite 2014, part about working on Power Rangers right? has really just been, you know, that was a 2016 for an Indus deal. In 2018 for <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that being said, that being said, I, I, I love working, you know, you know, I work very closely. Um, the team works very closely with the product development team um, on really just integrating the show in products, you know, into the show and making the products as cool as possible. But seeing the, the product development team, uh, you know, their innovation that they bring, the creativity that they bring is just so incredible to watch sometimes. And it's really great to see how each team brings that unique perspective on each uh season for the products that they develop oh i totally agree one of my favorite things to do when we were still in the office was to kind of peek into the cubes of the product designers and watch them sketch things because it is so amazing to see them come up with this like idea for something in their head and then magically it's just like there on their computer like that is not how my brain works in the slightest so I amazing um speaking of amazing product designers what a amazing segue to our new special guest who will be joining us today um so on that note i would love to welcome to our special guests john and jordan welcome guys hey guys hey how's it going welcome, welcome to fan first hey. friday yeah <laughs> They all have I voted so stickers. Good. good. Everybody, go you vote. Yourselves and then we'll let you guys very, very important. I already voted early. Yeah, I'm John Warden. I'm the designer yeah. lead on the Power Rangers business, and uh, it is so exciting to be here with all of you fans on Fan First Friday. And uh, have to, happy Halloween. Hey Rangers, my name's Jordan, and I'm a product designer on Power Rangers. And I grew up on Power Rangers from Mighty Morphin all the way through in space. So I'm super excited to be here to tease some Dino Fury projects. Mighty Morphin through in space. I mean, it's better than Ooh, just Mighty Morphin. Oh well, we but... are super excited to have you here to talk Dino it's rare Fury finding toy people line. Are you guys ready to get that started? That have been through the franchise for, yeah. you know, for long. You know, I am so Ooh. excited to be on a brand like Power Rangers, especially now when we're all at home, we're being safe, and we're spending more time with our loved ones and our families. It gives us a chance to take something that we love, like Power Rangers, and share it with our, with our kids. And being able to go outside and take a break and play with awesome Power Rangers toys, it really, it's very gratifying as a toy designer because you realize you have a big responsibility, and that is defending the universe one backyard at a time. And, you know, when we think about this new season, Dino Fury, there's so much to be excited about. Awesome costumes, incredible morpher, really incredible sword. Um, and of course the Megazords, which is brand new uh, Zord Link system where they connect. Yeah, I'm curious to see what they do with some of the stuff. And do all sorts. Because with the Zords, I feel like Hasbro really didn't do like too much with with Beast Morphers. Uh, it's just been awesome. And they, they didn't even do the Beast X King Zord. Jordan, you're excited too about this new series, right? So I'm oh, curious yeah. here. I am super excited to be working on the Dino Fury <laughs> stuff. 
Um, the Power Rangers is a super wholesome brand. You know, we think of the action, the monsters, the costumes, but it, like you said, it's also very wholesome and all about team building, friendship, and family. So it's really satisfying to be able to work on a brand like this and channel all of that positive energy into awesome toys. That's right. You know, Power Rangers wouldn't be Power Rangers <laughs> without awesome uh, Ranger action figure toys. So first up, we have the basic figure line. We oh, have great okay. articulation, awesome screen inspired details. I haven't watched Rue Soldier. That you love, I've like only seen the first red, two episodes. Blue, pink Ra Dino Fury Rangers, and even the villainous Boom Tower. Um, Boom Jordan, Tower. why don't you take okay. a sec to kind of walk through yeah, some I don't of, recognize the, each one the of these villain. figures and talk a little bit more about these weapons? Because these are a little different than what we see in the show, right? Oh. Very observant, John. That's so true. Yeah, what's wait. cool about being a toy designer <laughs> is that we have the opportunity to take inspiration from the Sentai footage and reinterpret that for toys. Like, what would be the coolest toy for a kid to play with? So, in this instance, We've taken inspiration from each dinosaur that gives the rangers their power. But then is that going to so be in the example, show? The pink ranger gets this cool ankylosaurus styled mace. And the blue ranger gets these cool triceratops and Those do look pretty side. sweet, but... And Boom Tower, our super cool villain, villain, villainous general, uh, just gets his sword because it's a super awesome giant sword. Um, I actually have... <laughs> Red Ranger in oh, package. Look at that here. packaging. So uh, he's got his T Rex inspired sword. And you'll also notice these six inch figures also come with a power key. Power key, that's what they're calling it. Okay. Which I actually have out of package too. So what's cool about these power keys is that on one side, you have a Zord head. And these Zord heads are compatible with the combining Zords that we're going to be releasing later this year. But what's later this cool, year, okay. So these toys are coming out this year. Footage and interpreting it in, as opposed to Beast Morphers that debuted toys in the spring. We've gone and given our villains Zord heads too, oh. so you can have a villainous takeover of our heroes and Mega Zords. So that's the Zord side, and I also have the pink and blue ones here. Zord heads! Oh, yeah! <laughs> and on the back side, you so, have the power key. These side. don't flip, this, though? This Whoa. side is what's compatible oh. with their brand new Ooh. Warfare. Yeah, that's some pretty... I love the holographic on these. It's just a holographic sticker. These holographic decals are something unique to these toys. Uh, and again, these oh. are compatible oh. with foil. It's, it's but the fun of those toys was the flipping! Right. Uh, feels very power Ah, uh, yeah, um, that's... So this is the side that's compatible that's a downgrade. with our new Dino Fury Morpher. That's, that's... Which I think I have a sample uh, of somewhere around here. Um, on your, oh, it's on his it's arm. It's on your wrist, here. man! Yeah, this is actually yeah. an unpainted sample. Um, but this, and I think you may have seen on the screen, but this is what it looks like complete. And it's got this cool rotating visor. Whoa. And you can insert keys to do cool stuff. Um, want a quick demo? Oh, heck yeah. All right. Let me just switch it on. It goes well. All right. Wow. So I just turned it on. Do you hear that okay? All right. So they're keeping the motion effects, which is fun. So <laughs> when you... Uh, when you put it on, it really lets you step into the boots of a ranger with some fun motion-based sound effects. Punches, karate chops, you know, that works. But the magic really happens when you put in a power key. So this is a little tease of the power key that comes exclusively with this morpher. It's a dino-themed key, and it's actually missing the label because, again, this is an early sample. But let me show you what it looks like when you plug it in. Whoa. So you get some sick Shop dinosaur sounds. <laughs> I'm just uh pretty cool, right? Kinda disappointed, not That's gonna lie. Awesome. What happens when you plug in like the blue ranger key? What what is what what happens with that? 
He called it a ranger. Oh, I guess blue ranger, blue ranger key. key time. I was about to say he called it a ranger key, but technically he just said blue ranger key. I think you get some cool. That's right. <laughs> so each key <laughs> has a different power associated with it, which is pretty sweet. So Jordan, you haven't morphed yet. I think all the fans want to know why haven't you morphed yet? It's morphing time. That is a great point. So, I'm going to go back and start with the dino key. Um, I've always wanted to morph on camera, so let me just center myself, strike the pose, and go, it's morphin' time. Oh, yeah. It's a little hard to hear. So Jordan, Pretty cool. what just happened there when you when you switch that thing around? How how does the morpher actually work? So, great question. Uh, so what happened was I plugged in the Dino key to unlock dinosaur sound effects, right? And with that key inserted, I was able to rotate the visor and morph. And we really wanted to make the morphing effect sound special, so we gave each key its own unique rockin' theme music. That's cool, so though. The dinosaur That's key unique. has like, dinosaur sound effects. The sound effects, effects thing is fun. I just, theme, the keys themselves are a little like disappointing, the personally. has something a little more upbeat. Uh, we have a bunch of other... Uh, it's kind of like the opposite of, like, Gokaiger and, and Super Mega Force, like where the Gokaiger ones didn't uh, flip, but they added power, the flipping motion for the Power Rangers ones. Um, so I would have expected them to add more, like, toy elements so, to this, uh, but it's just a static piece of plastic with the shiny stickers. And... I don't know. Uh, That's... Really have a good time with it. Uh... This is, I know I'm going to have a good time with it. I'm going to be rocking out. I'm going to be running around the yard with my morpher, battling imaginary aliens. It's going to be incredible. Um, like, I'll probably get the morpher action, and the I figures because I want really the figures. Cool but action based toy line to introduce. Why don't you show our fans that? Yeah. So, um, action, man. Power Rangers has always been about the butt kicking dynamic action the fight choreography is oh is this on that point. what is that called Every a re reaction toy line or something or the Dino one that got leaked no different uh i was always kicking around because this one has pudgy pig and stuff in it, kicks and punches in the air falling over getting getting messy fighting imaginary uh monsters so or maybe it's we channel different. all that energy into this new line we're calling battle attackers okay never mind different Oh, interesting. So, I've actually got one in pack with me right Dino here. Attackers. Those are cool. So, yeah. these are like versus packs that come with a ranger and a monster. And those monsters look so cool. They remind me of the vinyl figures that you take. They're really popular in Japan. Actually, you're really glad you noticed that, John. So, um, that was the Red Ranger and Doom Snake. But with me, out of package... I have the Blue Ranger and Shockhorn. So we definitely took a lot of inspiration from... The names are kind of like, basic for the monsters, uh, but that's fine. Design vinyl toys, uh, Japanese Sofubi. Yeah, okay. Um, I mean, like, you know, these are interesting. Toys, I, I definitely see this really for, like, a slightly younger a audience. Core part of the Monster of the I don't think I'm going to get these, so but they're not for that me, into you know? These chunkier monster forms that are monsters from the show that have a little bit of articulation, but the design and styling of them is uh, like designer vinyl inspired. So they also make great kicking targets for our battle attackers, <laughs> which is where all the action comes in. <laughs> right? That's incredible. With a simple stick of the button, you're able to get real lifelike <laughs> karate action, awesome kicks, awesome action. This is very, very cool. Look who's coming yeah, to party, buddy. Check him out. Look out. It's Lord Zed. Pick him. Oh, yeah. I just imagine oh, somebody oh. tuning into the stream right oh, at this moment suck. and just seeing two grown men just it, playing with these toys like that. Like, I love it, you know, but like, but we've got one I just, more this is the reaction. I can think I'm most excited about. Um, this, this line oh, the is going to okay. next year, but I wanted to give the fans a sneak preview of what's to come let's talk All right, about so zord's the coming Dino next year fury megazord and the zord link system oh yeah so um we have the honor of introducing you all to the t-rex champion zord 
on the left, you see it sword. in okay. battle mode. On the right, in the top corner, you see it uh, in T-Rex mode. And uh, these are photos of our gray models, which is the first time for us as designers to really see physical representation of our line art. Um, it's a super cool and very powerful kind of, moment. I mean, at a glance, designers. like you see what it looks to be and like elbow, say, you know, when I first articulation, saw like it footage, looks. I instantly fell in love with the Dino Fury Megazords. They are so like sleek. Yeah. and athletic, especially compared to does the Megazords of my childhood. You know, gone are the days of the chunky Megazord. I wasn't sure if I was going to get this, but here this kind of looks good. The, the flipping action Megazord. So if it's you look awesome. closely at the image... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, if you look at the image, we, we, what, when Jordan and I were working together on this thing, we really wanted to bring to life the athleticism of yeah, the Dino that's actually really cool. By adding Just because of that joints, articulation, uh, ankle rocker joints. This actually looks all pretty solid. All sorts of added points of articulation that are going to give you um, just added posability and all those great moments from the show. So you're actually able to pose out your character and then link it together using the Zord Link system with other Megazords to create all nine formations that you see in the show, which is super exciting for our kids and our Power Rangers fans out there. But one of the best things about it is that the head key is still compatible with our morpher, but we've actually added a special articulation point that gives you ball action, so you're actually able to um, pose out your character in a really, really cool way, fighting against the bad guys just like you want to do. And we went in with teeny, teeny, tiny little scalpels and added, or a team around the world added incredible detail on this thing. So it's going to be the most... Uh, detail-focused, most exciting-looking Dino Fury-style Megazord <laughs> fans have ever seen before. And uh, that looks pretty you, solid. Can, you can really use all of these Zordling things to bring to life anything you see in the show, all nine formations, like I said, but anything that you want in your imagination. So this is really a creative and incredible moment for all your young and old Power Rangers fans to get in there and make the coolest Megazord possible. Speaking of Megazords, you can't have a Megazord without at least two other Zords. But here's four more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, my favorite, favorite I think, I, I love the Stego Blade Zord. Just because of those <laughs> sharp blades on the outside. Okay. It's got a those look pretty look. sweet. And when I see that thing in the Sentai footage trudging through town, I know he means this. Yeah, I love the way it shoots out those spikes and stuff for battle. Um, I'm There's a, a good amount of detail on these, which is cool. Because of colors. like. But of course, green. this is an early prototype, uh, so, so the detail the could go away. In the bottom left corner Keep is that in mind. My favorite. So there you have it. That's the Dino Fury toy line. It is just the beginning. We've got lots more reveals that are going to be coming out over the course of the year. It's an awesome kids line, and it's an incredible TV show. Lots more to come, like I said. Um, and, uh, you know, Jordan, I think it's time to call back, uh, our special guests. Paul and Emily, come in. You're needed in the Morphin Grid. That's what you guys think. Guys, that was awesome. We, I can, I can, I think I can speak for Emily, too. I'll let her speak about what she thinks, but I love that toy line. That toy line is sick. The Zord Link system was awesome. Um... What Emily? What's your favorite part about the line? I wonder if those weapons for the figures uh, are actually going to be in the okay, show. Okay. All look super cool. I because they've designed, designed original stuff for the show before too. I am a sucker for a good monster design, and I think that having that ability to have the figures really interact, that kinetic action, is super cool. Um, Paul, thoughts on what your favorite is? I mean, I'm. I'm a Morpher guy. I love a Morpher. Yeah, so I probably am going to get the figures, you a power the Morpher, and it's, I love a wrist and morpher. maybe the Zords. So I'm not like going to get the, the two-pack thing that they had um, of the Ranger and, and, and the Monster. By the end. Um, John Jordan, what about Is that you what they showed? I think that's everything they showed. I think my favorite might be these six-inch figures. You know, they're really great. They're affordable, collectible, and there's a huge breadth of characters that we can do for them. And they come with these awesome power keys, too. Mm, power and keys are you know, disappointing. Power keys linking up to the, to the Megazords that are coming out in the fall. I just can't wait for fall with the Zord Link system. It's incredible. We'll build all nine of those formations. 
and there's more to come with them. And I'm, I'm very excited about all that. Wait till you see these things in person. Your mind's going to be blown. <laughs> but I mean, those are just our thoughts. New friends watching at home, which of these new amazing dinosaur toys are you most excited about? Leave us a note in the comments so that we can learn more. Um, and on that note, a huge thank you to our special guests, John and Jordan, for coming in and teaching so us all I guess about Dino this amazing line uh, that you guys have been working on. We really Green and Black it. Ranger reveal. Um, have and a then fabulous rest of your Halloween weekend. So, Ranger Nation, the moment you've all been waiting for, the moment we've all been waiting for, the cast reveal, the remaining Rangers, the black <laughs> and green Dino Fury. We know who they are. But I'm excited for the yes, official reveal. Yes, I am reveal. so excited to solve the mystery of the new Green and Black Rangers. Bring on the reveal. Yeah, so as you guys saw last month at PulseCon, we revealed the blue, pink, and red Rangers, and you guys went crazy over them. So without further ado, here are your new Black and Green Dino Fury Rangers. Hey, I'm Chance Perez, and I'm going to be playing Javier Garcia, the Dino Fury Black Javier Ranger. Javier Garcia. Hello, my name is Tisa Rao, and I'm playing Izzy, the Dino Fury Green Ranger. Izzy. We're so excited to be part of the Power Rangers family. So confirm, gender swapping to see Green Dino Ranger Fury next year. It's going to be more phenomenal. Ah, oh, amazing. Fun. Welcome to the team. Yeah, we're so excited. We're so excited that we have our full team now. So, um, you know, they started shooting uh, in New Zealand last week. And uh, stay tuned to our social channels for a lot of behind-the-scenes content coming your way, including maybe something later today. Um, Wait. So, yeah, Emily, that's all I is got. Is green not the one? That's, that's amazing. I think that means that we're we're done. This is so cool. Um, thank you. Is green not the one that was leaked? At home for joining us today. Um, I know, you know, broken record, but lightning collection items available for free order starting at 1 p.m. Eastern today. Check social for links after uh, the stream is over. Look forward to more updates on social soon. We will keep you updated on all the amazing things going on, including both. Wait, on yeah, Dino actually, Fury I don't think the Green Ranger is the one line. that we thought it was. Um, have a super spooky Halloween. Is Let's it? Stay safe and remember to socially distance. Yeah, and guys, just a reminder: if you haven't already done so, please make sure you vote on Tuesday. It's so important. So, like I said, vote. Have a safe wow, week. Wait. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye. So that was actually Bye. wrong. <laughs>
I plan to review everything. I'm pre-ordering all the Lightning Collection figures and all that, so rest assured that's going to happen. Um, and some of the Dino Fury stuff I, I will, will try and, and, and get. So keep an eye out for that stuff in the future. Um, but until then, I still have some good Lightning Collection videos to catch up on that you'll be seeing very, very soon. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. As always, take care, and I will see you later. Thank you.